This is the story of how VisiCalc changed everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. This is VisiCalc. It's considered the very first spreadsheet software ever made for personal computers. This is what it looked like. It was on an Apple II. And this is what people think came before VisiCalc. Nothing. But in fact, thousands of years ago, we had spreadsheets like this. They were literal sheets of paper spread out. And there was actual computer programming before VisiCalc. This is the guy who released Landpar. And this is the computer that Landpar ran on. There are three men in that photograph. But really, let me tell you that VisiCalc actually changed everything, not just spreadsheet software, like everything you know and love. This is what's considered the evolution of spreadsheets now. VisiCalc, Lotus 123, to Excel, to Google Sheets these days. But no, no, no. VisiCalc had much, much more impact than you could ever imagine. These are the godfathers of modern technology. This is Steve Jobs, Microsoft's Bill Gates, Mitch Kapoor, Dave Weiner, Dan Filstra, who promoted and actually sold VisiCalc. These are the godfathers of modern technology. You might not know who they are. You might know what they've made. Electronic Frontier Foundation. They've created XML. They they created RSS feeds, which now power podcasts. They created Byte Magazine, which was one of the most popular technology journalism. They invested in Second Life. Modern online publishing would never be the same unless PhysiCalc existed. Look, Bill Gates has a podcast, and nothing here would ever exist unless PhysiCalc existed. So let's start with PhysiCalc. Yes, Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankson created PhysiCalc. PhysiCalc replaced pen and paper. It created A1 notation, which now is the spreadsheet nomenclature. It created forecasting. The entire VC industry is based on forecasting. And VisiCalc actually drove and propelled Apple to its success. That's what literally Steve Jobs said uh, about the Apple II and VisiCalc. VisiCalc was the killer app. I remember when uh, Dan Feilstra, who ran the company that marketed the first spreadsheet, walked into my office at Apple one day and pulled out this disk from his uh, vest pocket and said, I, I have this incredible new program. I call it a visual calculator became VisiCalc. And that's what really drove, propelled the Apple II to, to the success it, it achieved. So everything you know about Apple today would never be in existence unless VisiCalc existed and drove Apple II sales. It was the $400 software that drove $4,000 purchases of computers. You would never have an iPod. You would never have an iPhone unless VisiCalc sold Apple IIs. Who was the guy who actually sold VisiCalc? We met the creators, but who was the actual seller? The marketer was Dan Filstra, who was a founding editor of Byte magazine. He wrote one of the articles in the very first edition of Byte called Write Your Own Assembler. This man wrote articles for other developers and programmers that essentially is modern developer blogging. If you know something like Hacker News would never exist unless Byte existed. And so why is Dan Filstra important here. It's because he not only sold VisiCalc, but one of the project managers at VisiCalc and VisiCorp ended up leaving the company, leaving all of his intellectual property for the company. He wrote in his leaving documentation, he said, I'm going to leave you everything that I've ever created here except for one thing. And that one thing was Lotus123. Mitch Kapoor was a project manager at VisiCorp, was working on programming <laughs> and programs for the same company that created VisiCalc. And he ended up going and creating Lotus123, which killed VisiCalc. He then invested in Linden Labs, which is Second Life. He co-founded EFF. He's had a large footprint after founding Lotus123. But not only that, let's talk about Lotus123. Lotus123, we find this very commonly around spreadsheet software, variable column width. It was first created in Lotus. And that was one of the key features that Mitch Kapoor wanted in Lotus123 that VisiCalc did not have. It was fixed column width before, and now we have variable column width. Thank you, Mitch Kapoor. And it absolutely destroyed multiplan. What is multiplan? Multiplan is the Microsoft version of VisiCalc. They created a spreadsheet software themselves called Microsoft Multiplan. Not until after this failure did we actually get Microsoft Excel. But it was a failure of multiplan that caused Microsoft Excel to exceed expectations. Microsoft multiplan failed. Bill Gates learned from that experience and put all of the learnings into running Microsoft Excel, bundling it up into what we now know as a Microsoft Office suite. Lotus 123 was a single program that actually did three things. The 123 actually stands for three programs in one. The 123 stood for spreadsheet software, two graphics package, and three database manager. It was three programs in one. But it wasn't 
wasn't until we see Microsoft Office and the entire suite bundling up many, many programs into one and selling them for cheaper than you could buy each individual one that caused Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Office to become the standard of offices today, along with Google Sheet, the duopoly of Google Suite and Microsoft. But who worked on Lotus 123? Just like Mitch Kapoor was working on VisiCalc and founded Lotus 123, there were also two very extraordinary programmers who were working on Lotus 123 who then became godfathers in their own right of modern technology. And one of them was Dave Weiner, who is one of the creators of modern online publishing, XML, documentation, RSS. He wrote RSS.92. In RSS.92, he included the enclosure element, which passes along a path to a media file. And that's how podcasting works today. After Lotus 123 came Microsoft Excel and totally dominated Lotus 123 in every possible way. And that's how we know Microsoft today. We have the Office Suite, we have Microsoft Excel. But not only that, but we have millions of lives being saved every year from the Gates Foundation. And that's how VisiCalc has changed everything. Literally, VisiCalc has changed everything. Everything we know of as modern technology today and also modern philanthropy is from VisiCalc. If it wasn't for VisiCalc, we would have nothing. But instead, we have all these beautiful things, online publishing, we have Google Sheets, we have spreadsheet software, and we have modern PC computers like desktops, tablets, and iPhones.